Okay, so I need to figure out how I'm gonna get the audio from the VOD. Other than have it just happen to come through my microphone because that's how that works. Ooh, that's the one thing I didn't do. Um, I bet I can just add Chrome as a source. Like a window capture. Nope, not that one. There we go. And now let's just, uh, hide it. Can y'all hear the uh, game audio up until like one second ago when I paused it? Let's try this. I think, yeah, that's that's good. I think we got that now. There we go. Anyway, hello. Uh, today is the day where I go over VODs from this Sunday when I was at... I guess just a bit of background. Um, <clears throat> there was a tournament on Vancouver Island this weekend. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with like the layout of BC, we're like big thing on the coast, but there's an island. The island is smaller and has less people, but they still have a pretty good smash scene. Um, but as soon as they announced this tournament, um, pretty much everyone from the mainland just like immediately flocked to it. And we ended up with like, I think 17 or 18 or 15, I don't know, 15 ish out of like the 60 capped attendants were from the mainland. So that was a lot of people taking a ferry ride over. And uh, I believe the entire top eight was mainland folks. So it is very similar to the topic that you would see at almost any other BC regional event, uh, just with a lack of ouch because he bailed kind of at the last second. Not last second, he he, he bailed like the, the week of. Sup, bread. Um, anyway, this was uh, loser semis. So this, this VOD is only the top eight. Um, yeah. I wasn't seated to get here, but then uh, Lemon kind of I don't know I didn't deserve to win my set in uh, the prior round against Lennon but that is neither here nor there let's get going on this um I also I've, I've had uh, tickle on my stream like a couple times uh, both in Yuzu and real life now um I would say that he usually beats me a little bit more than even but I would say that like as time has gone on it's swung closer and closer to even every time and uh yeah, last time we played in tournament, though, I think it was 3-1 for him. Um, every game being super, super campy. But I think that we had a session after that. So right now, I am not really focusing on getting hits. I'm literally just focusing on not getting strung, I suppose. Um, like, if, if I do get hit by Mithra, I want it to just be, like, one little chip away into, I don't know, Hopefully no, like, prolonged follow-ups. Um, and just stay out of her range wherever possible. That was not particularly good, that F tilt the wrong direction. How far back does left arrow key goes? Okay, it goes 10 seconds. So that's not super fine-tuned, but whatever. We'll deal. But yeah, this, this matchup, I don't know. I feel like if I just go in, it doesn't work out well for me. Yeah. That was probably a parry attempt there, I'm guessing. Yeah, so so when Mithra does the uh, Nair on shield, I think it's minus 10, including the landing hitbox. So I can just barely shield grab if he puts himself right in my range, but obviously uh, the Nair is decently disjointed. Sup, Mum's cookie. So uh, 
doesn't always work. I also have footstool out of shield if he ends up slightly behind me, because I don't think that it, uh, she like low profile stuff. But yeah, Nick is also definitely taking it quite slow, but um, yeah. I think the runoff platform back here with Mithra is like probably pretty hard to punish no matter what, even if you see it coming. Because I, I think that you would have to like space a dash attack super, super well to actually whiff punish it. Or I guess you could parry, but yeah, it's not exactly the freest thing to get. That was, that was, I, I wonder why he was DIing in on that. I feel like in those types of like, upper mid percents, there's no reason to DI in against Sheik at all. And you can actually see that I was like a little bit not expecting it, but I still managed to adjust in time because I was like trying to go forward and then I like double jumped backwards to hit the sweet spot, which was kind of nice. Um, that was actually a pretty bad bouncing fish. Not not just like because it missed. Obviously, if it had hit, it would have killed, but like i pretty sure I could have known beforehand that that wouldn't hit. Actually, no, I take it back. I think that I could have done it, like, held in a little bit and done the kick a bit sooner. Oh, that was just unfortunate. That, that was also very bad. I could have died for that. Um, yeah, it was just a misplay on him. Now I'm playing Scared because it's Pyra. That was kind of an uncharacteristic dash attack, but... I'll be real with that. That little thing that I got punished for, it was cute regardless. I was still happy about it. So I do that. I expect him to DI towards the platform for some reason, but he obviously doesn't. Um, send him a little spray on the way down, and that move is like so hard to punish, God. Oh, I like that. So yeah, I've also kind of... Tried to work on my edge trapping where I don't swing until I really see something for sure. So, especially against like Pyramithra, um, I think that they're kind of scared at ledge for the most part. I, I shouldn't have tried to grab there. I had a free dash attack. But yeah, how did I get out of this juggle situation right now? I really wish that this only went back five seconds at a time. Such is the Twitch problem. So he does up throw. And, he, oh, I guess that was supposed to be, like, a true follow-up, but I guess with 113, that's not going to happen. I think that that up smash probably wouldn't have killed. That was at 113, yeah. That, that was just an unfortunate whiff. I don't think that uh, spaced up tilt can be punished with uh, up smash out of shield. Like, frame-wise, for sure, but not spacing-wise. Up tilt is, like, quite safe. Down tilt on shield, I think can probably be up smashed. Yeah, that that was really good play on his part to catch my landings. I think, hmm. I don't even, yeah, that, that's kind of an uncharacteristic air dodge for me. I think I was just really scared. Um, I probably should have just gone to a platform. Actually, nah, Mithra up smash would have hit the platform regardless. I think, honestly, like that, that kind of is the Mithra special. Like, she can catch your landings. And there's not always a whole ton you can do about it. There we go. Kind of a risky grenade there, but... Yeah, at this point, I'm definitely just um, fishing for Needle's up smash. But is that going to kill? Not quite. He never gets crossed up. Okay, how did I how did I let him off edge? Cause I should never be letting him off edge. Not as pyro at least. That that F tilt seems like it might have been supposed to be like a jump back air or something, but whatever. God, that that was scuffed. I have no idea how that connected with the strong hit and caught his bad DI, but yeah. With the up air, still get it anyway, sure. I remember what happens next. I get completely shit on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that I just, like, brutally messed this up. I did not use Bouncing Fish, did I? No, I did. Okay. Never mind. I'm bad. Yep, so I had no resources here, and I just died. Um, I aimed for, like, intentionally the, like, invincible spot. But yeah, that death... 
I'm pretty sure is exactly what cost me the game. I mean, obviously I'm still doing fine right now, but I do lose this one. Spoiler alert. Yeah, that was... that was cute. And by cute, I mean about as basic of a dash attack with punish as you can get. Ah. Man, I like never catch him with those runoff vanishes. I catch other people with them, but I need to stop doing it, like, at all. That, okay, that was that was a pretty good bait. I have no idea what I was going for with that. Oh, actually, no, I, I know exactly what I was going for. I thought that I would push him off the platform and be able to jab lock him. Uh, that's active. That was an awful bouncing fish, but hey. Okay, I think that this is something that I kind of need to do more. That I am really always annoyed when people do it to me, but I don't give it credit for how good it is. Um, you go forward far enough that people think that you can go to center stage, but you can also still totally make it all the way back to ledge. That doesn't kill and I still lose this. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Yeah, stop doing that vanish. Come on, man. What pirate hit do I die to? Yeah, down smash. Who's my favorite character in the game? Uh, easy, it's Sheik. Oh my god, that is so loud. Why is that so loud? Oh, sorry everyone. Oh my god, so many ads. Ugh. I hate this ad in particular. Okay. Rex, what are you doing there? I took him to small battlefield, hell yeah. Okay, so... Already a very suboptimal combo. Um, as soon as I noticed that he did inwards DI on the forward throw, I should have done drag down regrab, but hey. I guess, honestly, it could have still been fine if I actually did IDJ there. Um, but instead, I got just full hop. Sheik is the most fun character. I agree. Big agree. I still have the audio on, right? Yeah. That should have been back here, and I think I did try to do it. Is he dead? No. I, I should have... I should have known that he was still alive. Okay, so here's what the truly optimal punish would have been there. Um, as soon as that happens, run off stage, needle him right where he's going to double jump, and then he can't do anything. Actually, I, I guess technically he can huge brain up B first and then double jump. Um, but, yeah. I guess... Hmm. Okay, so I catch his landing pretty decently here. That's two up airs, right? So that was a trade, but obviously that trades in my favor because he is using a multi-hit. That was the greediest roll off ledge F smash of my life. And then a awful down air. How much damage did I take for that? I guess only like 30, but I mean, I don't know. In a matchup like this, 30 is like nothing to... Yeah. And as usual, I get nothing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a stock that I convert here. I really do keep trying to actually hit the vanish, and I keep missing it every time. But also, it doesn't matter, because that that's a safe enough pattern to go for, because if he does uh, Photon Edge or whatever, I'll just blow up the Photon Edge. How many frames is Pirate Down Smash active for? It looks pretty easy to catch neutral getup with. I don't think that it's uh, super active, but Nick is just really good at timing those things anyway. I want to say that the front hit is probably active for like three frames. Uh, frame data. HP. Do -do -do. Down Smash is... 12 to 14, yeah. So it's three frames active on the front strong hit um but i think that the idea is because it's 12 frames combined with 11 frame shield drop is what is that uh like 20 23 <laughs> i'm so good at math um 23 frames so like as soon as he notices me start to do neutral get up i think that like it's something to do with just like the visual cue into immediate let go of shield down smash is just like perfect so it's a fairly consistent thing um 
Oh, that was nice. Good job, man. Okay, so I start with a full stack of needles, which is something I don't always do. And then I get foresighted, and not a very big combo. In fact, a fairly small combo. I think back here there. That little, like, needle be reverse. I, I like that, but why do I like it? Do I literally just like it because I'm pushing a button, or does it actually accomplish anything? I guess it, like, mixes up my ground position by just a little bit. Yeah, sure, I will justify it retroactively. That was a very greedy and uncharacteristic down smash. Did that needle actually spark him? Okay. Can I go forward like one frame at a time? No, this isn't YouTube. No, it totally didn't spark him. Okay, we're chilling. Uh, oh, I 1.5 speeded it. Okay. Um, there we go, back to normal. All right, tech roll away. I'm pretty sure he can catch, but uh, it's not a big deal. I definitely could have um, followed up that air dodge, I think. That's good, that's good. Yeah. Okay, that was a good punish. Or, or actually, wait, was that a good punish? How negative on shield is uh, Mithra down smash? Down smash is minus 28 on shield. Drop shield dash attack is like 16 frames, so I actually could have done quite a bit more. Okay, good to know. Yeah, it was just kind of unfortunate. What did I even start this off of? Oh, down tilt. Okay, cool. And then he switches, and there we go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like usually when I fight Nick, I expect him to land a little bit more aggressively when he has Pyro out, but maybe it was just early enough. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't usually double jump up there, but okay, this should be a good combo, and there we go. It is not a good combo. We really don't be out here abusing Sheik as much as we can. I think that I should have just waited for the tech option and done something about it afterwards. I, I even labbed out like battlefield side platform tech chases earlier. Okay, I know that he's looking for up tilts at this point, uh, or I can just get hit by that. Honestly, that was still pretty good. It still got a bit of wind box damage, so. Yeah, at this point, anytime I dash forward, I need to just like. Always be wary of the potential, uh, oh yeah, the potential side B, because as soon as it kills from, like, literally anywhere on stage, um, dashing could equal death if you're not careful about it. That was just, like, mash moment. Sheik Fair is minus two on shield. Obviously, that wasn't the lowest one possible, so, like, yeah. So that's, like, at least maybe three frames before I land which means it's probably minus five, and I mash out jab, which is frame seven, or sorry, frame two, so that's a total of seven frames, and I'm pretty sure he was grabbing there, so yeah. I just did the uh, excellent strategy wherein you mash on the shield. Uh, in, in that sense, I guess I would say that actually, like, the higher up you do your forward air from, the uglier it looks, and, like, the more likely someone is to do a bad shield grab, so maybe that's, like, Unironic tech, make your forward airs look stupid so that people are more likely to shield grab you for it and then just mash out jab. What a world we're coming to where bad looking moves is the meta because they're still safe even when they're not even as low to the ground as they can be. Uh, I want to say that should have been... Um, Tomahawk. Obviously, it's easy to say that in retrospect, but, like, w what's he gonna do there? He just threw out his sword. Like, I don't know. I think this is dead. Oh, no, it's not.
Yeah, that was good. That should have been back here. That should have been anything, but hey. What did I... Okay, so this was the Neron shield. That was good, but that wasn't even true. He dashed forward. Um, okay. I think that um, now with the uh, nerf to her air dodge, I should always be able to hit it with, like, down tilt or something. How did I even land that? Did I just do a super greedy falling needles because I'm winning by a stock and a half? Just jump over him. Yeah, okay. I guess... Yeah, the fact that I might have looked like I was trying to retreat like I always do, and then I actually just turned around with the needles. I guess that's just the advantage of always running away all the time if you come back in easy. Oh, yeah, 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 Len, call me on Discord. I do have you on Discord, right? How far back do I have to go to find you? Oh my god, that's forever. So, for those who don't know, Tickle is definitely a runner backer. Um, doesn't matter whether it was his counter pick or mine. I don't know how I feel about that air dodge. I mean, like, I guess it worked. It got me out of disadvantage, sort of. Uh, I'm pressing down, not left. Okay. So, okay, I'm still literally like staring at me in my sick needle movement instead of actually watching what he's doing right now. He's literally not pushing a button yet. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, you know what, actually fine. The air dodge is pretty good there. I don't know what that up air was though. Yeah, that was good. I finally read the fact that he's going to air dodge and then I get hit by the air dodge anyway for a quick 30. Oh my god. That was like one frame of air dodge before hitting the ground. Okay, that was... Probably actually the correct throw, but I'm pretty sure I could have done more of a follow-up. That seemed a little bit fake. That was that was actually good timing on the vanish, by the way. Or, or sorry, the grenade. As in, like, obviously it didn't work out, but I definitely had the right idea there, because that, like, popped pretty close to when he grabbed ledge. And if it had hit, he was super dead. Hey. Yo, Supplin. Uh, do you want to, like... Share screen share screen. so that you're not delayed yeah yeah, yeah that sounds good awesome. um len is joining me today share right. your screen i will do my best to offer insights on chic mitra that is all good oh my god oh no okay i think we're chilling again yeah i don't know i i wanted to go over the mithra set before you were here um so we can go over ice climbers together because that's what i think uh you're mostly here for well i mean i'm not exactly well versed in mithra either so yeah that's fair uh just in case anyone was like oh that's a miss input up smash nah it's definitely not enough frame advantage at that percent to get an up smash especially because i had to do the up air rising if it had been falling up air then like maybe but i don't think that falling up air was true especially with her frame two uh witch time air dodge that oh my god i, I should have been able to get that down tilt yeah do they have like a really low ledge hang no, 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 I, I, I wasn't close enough. Oh. I think that, like, the side B pushed me just a little bit back. I might have had enough time to crawl forward. Um, but, yeah. That was... That was overambitious, the uh, double jump so quickly. I think that I could have actually gone a little bit higher. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's easier to say in retrospect, but... It looked like it might have connected if you followed the DI. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you want great TV? Yeah, um, what I was gonna say is, I'm always wary of getting up B reversaled by a uh, Pyra at ledge, just cause like, it's ambiguous or they can like decide halfway through whether or not they actually want to go on stage and get the explosion or just go back to ledge. Um, I don't know about that Flame Nova, brother, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to time them at this point with the end of invincibility. Just to kind of make him, you know, not get too complacent not pushing buttons you know the whole Zan on twitter thing where he was like yeah you can just actually stay on ledge and people do nothing um that uh, okay as as much as i just got the kill with that back air um i was like pixels away from dying first um because i'm pretty sure that was up tilt yeah that was oh, super yeah, that was up tilt <laughs> nice 
Yeah, we love Twitch ads. It's okay. Giving money to heavy hitters esports. And now we're both tied. No one has to approach. I I uh, did the whole second bouncing fish because I didn't want to get the dumb end lag on the platform and I wasn't sure if I could actually like go far enough to the left of it. But yeah, that is a bad. pretty minor detail. At this point, I don't know. I have the lead, therefore I don't have to do anything. I could have died there, but hey. I didn't. That, okay, that that needle that I just did right there, that was very bad. There was literally no point to throw away my stack. Not not the air dodge off stage, that was obviously bad. But this just full hop needle, oh. there was no way that was hitting. And even if it did hit, I don't think that the spacing that I had it at would have actually given me a follow up. Because it would have been like the first needle that hit and I still wouldn't have hit the ground for a while. Um, that could have been back air. I'm actually okay. trapping air dodges, that's nice. That was... I, I thought that that could be a footstool, um, and even rewatching it, I thought it could have been a footstool, but I just messed up. That was a terrible downer. I don't know if that was supposed to be a dash attack by Nick, but it didn't look right to me. I'm not using movement at all right now. I am just running around with hitboxes and shitty rolls. That is problematic. Oh, I'm I'm hella efficient for a down tilt. Why am I? Oh yeah, no. Okay, I want a down tilt up air, lock right or sorry up tilt lock right now. I'm greeting. Why did that raindrop miss? It was just not high enough. Percent. That's not a raindrop, bro. See, I did the up air rising. Oh, I see. Raindrop is specifically up air falling up air. You know, like okay. the two uppers. That's just yeah. up air dragon up smash. Okay. Why did that miss though? Just not Cause I, cause I, no, because I did the uh, up air rising. You have oh, to do okay. a falling up air if you want to actually have it connect. I mean, like, eventually it'll connect even on a rising one because, like, up air has scaling knockback. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I remember how I end this game. Oh, my God. That should have actually been throwing the needles. I don't think that he's at a high enough percent where I would have actually uh, been able to convert it into an up smash here, but at the very least it would have been something. Yeah, I should have thrown the needle. Yeah, I did the exact same mash shit again. Make it look like a bad up air. That could have been a footstool down air for sure. Uh, that was IDJ. I feel like if I hadn't done IDJ, I could have followed him down there. Um, but whatever, I finally timed the down tilt on his invincibility. Nice. God, I hate Sheik Roll from Ledge so much. It's so bad. It's okay, so the reason that I do that in particular is because it's not too bad to react to whether or not they go in or out if you were planning on running and using an A move. But if you are trying to do forward throw bouncing fish and you're like ready to hit the B button, as soon as you react to the DIN, you, you can adjust the bouncing fish, but it's so hard to remember to instead hit jump falling up here. So you're planning the bouncing fish. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm planning the bouncing fish regardless of DI, even though on inwards DI I could do something better. Also, that was interesting. I like did something unsafe on shield, but because I was mashing down tilt, um I went under his nair. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, I don't think that happened in our pit versus cheek quite a bit as well. Yeah. Honestly, mashing down tilt is kind of just really good. I'm surprised that he did a shield grab there. I feel like that must have been a, a miss input. I think, again, I need to not be so aggressive to hit him when he's above a platform because Sheik has, like, really good platform sharking abilities. That was good, and he's not dead. That should have been dead, though. I could have done the vanish a lot better. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> That's rare footage. I don't raw up smash ever. <laughs> I remember being pretty proud of it, though. Yeah. Two hands up. Damn. <laughs> All right. There's... Wow, what a surprise. Tickle, run it back. Oh, me and Trevor were actually talking today about... Um... God, my movement was cute there. Uh, anyway, grab. Good job, me. Uh, me and Trevor today were talking about, like, No Sage Twice and the existence of Gentleman's Claws, blah, 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 blah. And uh, he was saying that, like, well, I mean... Gentleman's Claws is kind of something, something, something. If you have no Sage twice and you don't have a Gentleman's Claws, then people won't be able to run it back. 
And if you do have a gentleman's clause, then what's the point of having no stage twice? Because people are just going to get like peer pressure into running it back or whatever all the time. God, that was terrible. Um, but anyway, uh, and then I said, well, technically you could, in any rule set that has bans, just ban the stage that you just won on. That should have absolutely been like a grab or a forward tilt. It should have, it should have been a forward tilt, um, but instead I did up tilt for some reason. That was me greeting super hard for a missed tech, but there was no way he was going to miss Wait. that tech. Wait, how would the dash tag? Or was it supposed to be an up smash? What? Wait. No, I was waiting there to uh, up tilt the missed tech, and then I thought that he would like run off the platform. Oh. That's why I did the dash attack after. Got it, okay. Uh, I have no idea how that forward air beat out his up air, but yeah. Damn. Ira F smash actually really lagless. Holy shit, that hits platforms. I always What's forget that. that. Good to know. Okay. There's there's no universe where that was ever hitting. I think that I should have just done a run forward jump nair. It would have put a meta shitty. Hmm? Would he, have, would he have been able to kill you off that footstool if the platform wasn't there? Uh, no. Actually, the, the platform is kind of the point of doing that footstool. Gamer made a video on it. You can, like... Oh. Uh, footstool and then like air dodge down onto the platform and cover most options if not everything um, with like a falling aerial afterwards he just tried to dash off the platform and it didn't work out uh, I, I won't belabor the set too much longer that was that's dead yeah that's exactly what I was greeting for last time so I guess when I said quote he will never miss that tech I was sort of wrong because everyone misses tech sometimes except level 9 CPUs I don't know why I did that air dodge. That is uncharacteristic. And there's fair on shield mash spot dodge. That was just a mistimed up air drag down re grab. It should have been true. Oh yeah, that hits way under platforms if you don't know. Does Tickle just like stay pyra in this matchup all the time? Uh, no. Uh -oh. Like if I'm playing unconfident and scared and shitty, like I am right now at this moment, um, then he stays Pyra for like longer than you might expect. Uh, but usually, if we're both playing well, it should be Mithra. Okay. But yeah, as you can tell, it is working. Cause I am <laughs> run in shield grab without seeing anything. That's pretty much where I was at, huh? Uh, how are we gonna bring this back? Because we do. Good job reading the air dodge. Bad job hitting that. But you know what? I got super lucky with that down tilt outspacing his nair. I mean, I can talk about how sick my spacing is, but that was lucky. Oh, that one. That one. Yeah. yeah. I'm not afraid to admit it. Uh, I think that would have been dead if I hit the back air. He didn't have a double jump. I think this is dead, yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. Classic me run to the left side of the stage and get ledge trapped on my opponent's <laughs> respawn invincibility. Always on the left, though. That's my side. Captain left. Yeah, baby. Training mode bot. You always spawn on the left, so I'm more comfortable on the left. I'm not kidding, by the way. That's oh. actually... I'm a Tekken player through and through. There we go. Dash attack. Dash attack again. Turn around needle. Up tilt. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm in flow state right now. Yep, read that. Oh, that was bad. I thought that because I was doing a full momentum up air to the side, that that would uh, be the thing. Yeah. That was also, again, not supposed to be up smash. It was definitely only true with up tilt. Yeah. There we go. Prominence Revolto. Boop, boop, that should be... Yeah, I can agree with grab there. Uh, that could have actually been a kill off of back air, I believe. Yep. And I deserve that one. Oh, I remember how I got this kill, yeah. Alright. That was also a super uncharacteristic air dodge back, by the way. Big panic moment. Oh, that was... It, it it looked sick, but like yeah. it was super uncharacteristic of me.
top oh my god nice when it comes to music. you can grenade the grenade their side b recovery it'll make the grenade explode every time yeah uh i don't know uh mjolnir how long you've been in the chat but i generally prefer vanish because i think that if you do the vanish properly it um it'll it'll work and kill anyway and if you don't hit it then it puts you on ledge which means if they didn't do the side b then they're recovering low with up b and then because you're on ledge you can drop off in back air god this movie looks so terrible uh, i hope no one thinks that it looks cool because i don't know i think it looks bad Here for a reason. but also i'm afraid of getting old so maybe that's why i'm like uh afraid of it holy shit four ads this one's 30 seconds dude is this for the armed forces i mean apparently yeah it looks like it canadian armed forces the military just gets to do whatever they want with their ads yeah here i thought that uh the u.s was the only ones with military propaganda just kidding i've totally seen canadian military propaganda yeah. before In a world of circles. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, you can see at the top. Good job, Wendy's big fan. All right. Okay, and now we get to see the pop-off before I even hit the move. Very excited for it. I want to go frame by frame to figure out exactly when you started popping off. I feel like the camera is actually very marginally delayed because I remember popping off, like, sooner than it actually will show. It's right here. Oh, no, it just made me mute. Okay, wait a second. Okay, right here. Yeah. Okay. Twitch right. doesn't have frame by frame. Okay, I'm already okay. starting the pop off right there. Yeah, it was, it was like right when you inputted that pair, I think. I'm pretty sure it was a little bit earlier in real life. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I did the jump up air, like, as I was standing up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nice. Needles can force lower recoveries. That's something that I know for a fact that I need to do. Um, because... Like, like needle when people are off stage and then cover low? Yeah. Because hmm. if they get hit by the needles, it confirms into bouncing fish and they're dead. And if they air dodge through, then congrats, they're going low. Um, but the problem is, I'm never holding like more than two needles. So what I need to do... And this, this was actually my thing. For the longest time, I had this like cool idea that I was going to be known for always holding five needles. And I was going to be like, yo, five, it's the new six. Because um, you right. still have access to all the movement, but you're also holding five. Um, so I need to make a point of actually doing that instead of just holding like however many I feel like at the moment. And uh, that also means counting. Counting is a little bit hard. Sometimes I'm like, I have no idea how many needles I have, so I'm just going to throw them. Um, and it's usually like two. <laughs> Does five still like confirm into all the same shit as six? Um, a lot of it, yes, but even when it doesn't, if you get them off stage, you usually have time to charge one. Okay, like, you don't have it. time to go from like zero to full, but you usually have time to go from five to six and then still get the exact same recovery options. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's find. Mm, wait, that's already in losers? Wait. Uh, I. Oh, I think there's two VODs. The first oh, one. wait, did you and Dawson play before me and Nick? Yeah, we were the first winners semis to play. Oh, okay. That means that you're probably the last one of this. Yep, there we go. Alright, is this game one? Oh god, yeah. Uh... Alright, there we go. Also, you should DI up and away when you're getting grabbed at mid percent against Mithra and Croy to avoid tech chases. Yeah, that's a super bad habit that I know for a fact I have. I always like to go down in a way, and then I'm like, hee hee, I'm going to tech. Um, but I should actually just be like, I'm going to go up and away. Hee hee, I'm going to jump. Uh, yeah. All right. I feel like I actually started okay, if I remember correctly. And then I mean, it always feels like one starts okay against Isis. Okay, so I think that you're already going like way too ham. Maybe. Okay, so that's one arrow, that's two arrows, and then a dash grab. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then the blizzards start, and I fall apart. The end. Uh, honestly. Okay, well, I mean, at least you're you're not getting schmixed by that. Okay, so. Not, 
Okay. So that, yeah. You're like running in, super I, I run eager. A lot. Yeah. I know. So ice climbers, if you are actually in their face, they are just two characters. They're they're so good. Like that's literally their only thing. Just having twice as many hitboxes as you can ever dream of having. Yeah. So should I? I guess I just hold center stage and not run in. Uh, yeah. Make him come to you. Icy's approaches suck. Oh, okay. we have a Icy's expert in the chat as well. I don't know if you're watching the stream chat as well. Uh, it's very small on my screen. I, I'm not. A, I don't actually have the stream open. But maybe if I full screen your. Thing. Okay. I mean, I can also like relay any important info to you. Thank you, Mjolnir. So anyway. Yeah, so uh, I I was kind of figuring out the timing on side B as I went a little bit. Um, it's like, depending on which hit you shield and how much momentum they have when they hit your shield last is whether or not you can get a dash attack punish. And it's something that I don't want to say you need to get a feel for, but you kind of just need to get a feel for. Okay. Yeah, so side being into their blizzard looks terrible. Uh, I think grounded side B is okay, but aerial is bad because, yeah, you bounce away. Yeah, I, honestly, like, forward air from a distance and not, like, trying to YOLO run in dash attack is probably significantly better. I mean, obviously, I'm not the pit main. I'm just, oh, man, sorry, brother. <laughs> those <laughs> those arrows oh, just bad. die. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know why that back air actually went through. I was definitely still holding it, but maybe it just ran out of time, possibly. Maybe. Is... Does, the air version does have side or uh, armor as well, right? So you're not yeah. just, like... That was, that was a really good nair from ledge, actually. Like, as in, it looked, like, super low. Okay, um, maybe this is controversial, but I think that you should have just gone for the Nana kill there. Uh, yeah, I'm bad at killing Nana. I, I don't yeah. Know. Like, maybe, oh, maybe you mean just, like, go up air her? Yeah. yeah, or even, like, jump side B or something, I don't know, just, like, finish her off. Yeah, I think, probably, I, res I think I respect Sopo too much and give up Nana kills because of it. Yeah, I mean, Dawson in general is, like, very good at protecting Nana when he needs to. That, that was nice, he didn't give him a chance. But, um, I don't know. If I'm losing in percent to the Sopo, I will sometimes take a Nana trade for my own life. Um, just because I feel like if I'm playing a stock properly, I should be winning in percent to the Sopo. Um... So if I don't take the Nana kill, then the way I see it, I'm more likely to just uh, die anyway without taking the Nana off at all. Dude, up tilt is so nuts. You you gotta, like... The space right inside climbers where up tilt hits is, like, that is the... the that's the fuck zone. You, you can't okay. go there. You literally just cannot be in up tilt range ever. Otherwise, you are having a bad time. It yeah. kills it, like... 80 or something and it combos at like every percent do 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 anyway advice that i'm okay. getting from mjolnir is first thing i'd advise everyone is not to try to punish side b rather than challenge it even pichu's jab technically can beat it the hitbox on side b is very bad otherwise you'll eat nana blizz while popo shields they can desync easily after side b yeah so dawson does that all the time where he desyncs with the nana blizzard after side b um again because you have a bursty dash attack just like i do I usually do try to punish it afterwards. It does work, but it's a really tight window, and if you mess it up, then you're in a bad spot. He's saying I should just, like, dash attack during the side B instead of... After. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's it. Like, I personally... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's I, unfortunate. I personally don't do that. Oh, also, um, what Dawson likes to do after a respawn is um, dash towards ledge and then roll back in, uh, or even, like, jump air dodge. I guess oh. that time he rolled away, so you got that, but you still only hit one of them, so that's negative on hit. Yeah. I don't know, maybe this is like way too surface level, but I feel like you are not spacing your disjoints as well as you could be. Yeah, I agree with that. It's, I, I'm definitely like, I feel like Dawson uses a lot of rolls and just like very subtle movements towards me to always throw that shit off. Yeah. So. I think I need to, oh, I uh, if you ever have the opportunity to separate them further, take it. Like, when when okay. he did that bad side B into you there, that should have been back throw instead of forward smash. 
Oh, yeah. Because if you do that, then uh, here's what would have happened. Nana would have just started running all the way across the stage to Popo, and she's Smash 4. She will run through you. She doesn't have unit collision. So you know what you do? After you, you uh, back throw Popo off stage, you dash back in towards center stage, start charging a forward smash to the right, and Nana will just run right through you, and you let it rip and kill her, and she's DIing towards Popo, so she'll fucking kill herself. Oh, interesting. Does or, or uh, she, sorry, DI? she might actually not be DIing towards Popo, but she'll be doing no DI, but also that's just... I don't know. I find that a fairly consistent way to deal with her. Just, like, start charging F smash, and she runs through you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, you could have also just, like, gone over there and tried to hit her, but she, sometimes when she's, like, off stage, it's literal RNG whether or not she jumps, um, so I find that really frustrating to deal with, um, so I, don't do that ever, uh, don't yeah, do that ever, uh, that's the bait, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure you figured that out now, yeah, yeah, that was not good, Yeah, uh, Mjolnir is saying that Nana can jump if Popo is high enough after he beat throws. Pit back throw is a pretty low trajectory, though, right? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. It's it's definitely lower than forward throw, I think. Yeah. Uh, what stage did you go to? I didn't see. Uh, FD, which is probably a that's terrible. Game. What? Yeah, it's terrible. I don't know. I I don't know anything about stages against ICs, but I, in hindsight, like yeah, Blizzard was my main problem, and this just makes Blizzard better because there's no platforms to go around it. Um, and there's just worse landing options. Uh, did you try to push a button there, or were you trying to jump away? Uh... Because I don't know if, uh, Pit's jump is just that bad. No, you were pushing a button, dude. Pushing a button wait, where, where? When you um, fell onto his up tilt. Let me see... I think I was trying to... Like, usually I mash jump at these percent. I'm like... Okay. Uh, oh, maybe... Was, mm. I don't know. Oh. Maybe it wasn't air. Maybe I was mashing air. It's possible. Yeah, I, I don't know. Usually mash air though. That's that's fair. Um, yeah. regardless of whether or not you were, I guess obviously pits double jump kind of sucky. Uh, yeah. Literally mash jump because you might get a footstool. Okay. That's the Captain L special. And yeah, holy yep. shit. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know that. <laughs> that is just unfortunate. Nice. Like, okay, actually no. Go back. I want to figure out if I could have di'd something better here. Uh no. Down throw no, blizzard is just true. Oh. Okay. Maybe if I di'd in, then like the forward smash just wouldn't have killed. Uh, maybe. A additional notes is yeah. you can also not mash out of the ice block until right after he hits you. Oh, right. I'm going to take less knockback. Uh, you don't even get knocked. I, I forget exactly how it works. I don't think that you take knockback. He okay. crossed him up with side B, so he died poorly. Then up tilt is a true combo. Okay, yeah. So the up tilt was a true combo, apparently, at the start. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if you see a solo Nana move, like a side B or something, or even a solo Popo version of it, um, don't try to punish. Because, like, the other right. climber is guaranteed going to be doing something better right afterwards. Okay, so... Back throw, F smash. Okay, good uh, job. That was good. I think you're going to get this. Um, Very nice. No, don't go for Popo here. Kill Nana. Yeah, that, that was my mistake, I think. Yep. Now you're going to get up tilted and, ooh, okay. Well, he messed up the lock thingy. I think he meant to do an ice block there. Yeah. Or maybe he was just having fun. Okay, so when they both do a blizzard sync like that, it is actually quite punishable. You can just, like, dash attack it afterwards. Okay, I guess I think I need to learn exactly when blizzard finishes because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would be holding shield here, so you can see it right now. It's active until lull. Okay. He's still in end lag right now. Yeah, I tried to back air, but he was able to shield in time. But yeah, maybe if I was on the ground. Yeah, I would say as soon as you saw the blizzard, you could have just landed and then like waited for a split second and then dash attacked. I mean, I guess everything worked out kind of fine, but also I get the feeling you're going to get like back aired here. Okay, well, at least you knew that he was going for the back air. Yeah, I, I've, I've been getting a bit better at avoiding back airs in the corner. But mm. I'm not, not good enough. Honestly, I think that short hop down air is probably a better pick than Nair in this matchup for you in particular. Because if you're only if you only end up hitting one climber with Nair, you're just in so much hit lag that the other one can hit you. Ass assuming you hit Nana, right? Whereas down air does does down air separate or do both of the side hits kind of just go up? 
Uh, no, the the left side will send light. Like basically, they send it in their direction. I think. Okay, so so it is a bit of a separation move if you can like actually hit between them. Yeah. Well, if you hit between them, you're probably spiking at least one of them. But yeah. Um, but if I the thing is, if I spike at low percent, it's unsafe on hit. So it's not yep, great. That's percent. reasonable. Um, yeah. Mjolnir also says that uh, down throw Blizzard is really hard on DIN. You'll eat okay. the up air, obviously, but um. It's better than, it's better than Blizzard. Blizzard's really yeah. fucking good. Or sorry, it's like really good when it hits. Yeah. Was there something better you could have done off of that? Sorry, I might have no. skipped back too far. Oh yeah, no, this is probably too far. Oh yeah, you're right, that did look a little bit unsafe on hit. I, yeah, I probably could have just like nared Nana there or paired her. But yeah, it's, it feels risky to go for those multi hits when Popo is just lurking. Yeah, you might need to like just kind of default to bear as much yeah. as possible. Oh, you love to see it. Two ads. What is this? Say bruh. Okay, bruh. Sorry, what did you say, Len? I thought that was an advertisement for a game, but it was just an ad for Twitch, apparently. So yep. I'm less interested. Oh, it's my favorite commercial. She drops the phone, but it's fine because it's an iPhone. Good job. Wow. Congrats, big fan iPhone. <laughs> I feel like bear mode is working pretty well in neutral. I just need to, like, I don't know, not... Not, like yeah, that. get hit. Yeah. Okay, and also when they parry, it's not good either. I'm surprised that fair actually connected like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't go for drag down combos. Because, like, okay. if you're desynced between which one you're hitting when, you'll literally be negative on hit. Yeah, I think there I was hoping to just connect the full fair, but then I landed and I was like, well, yeah, shit. Yeah, that's reasonable. Down. Yeah. Uh, wait, is this muted now? Yeah, it is. Oh, sorry. I literally was not paying attention. I was looking for the volume button. Okay, so after this, um, stand on the ground and charge forward smash and just... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I lied. Okay, that was just a total RNG jump, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Nana just, like, decided that that was what she I felt like doing, and then you miss attack, but, I mean, hey, what am I going to say? Oh, just make sure you attack. <laughs> like, oh, thanks, Cap. Yep. I don't know if that. Considering I died at like like he literally zero to death to me, I'm at, that was probably the best game for me apart from the zero to death. Cause... Yep. By the way, did you put any thought into light pit? Have you? Uh, yeah, I think light pit probably makes the most sense. My arrows aren't doing shit in this matchup. Yep. Because he just she either hammers them or just blizzards them. Or, yeah. Oh shit! We got Snick in the chat. Let's go. I don't remember how close this game was. I think it was also too stocked, but let's find out. Yeah, this is uh, not a good start. I think I, I was jumping over him too much. I should have just gone to left. Oh, are you just dead here? No. I will say, from a mentality perspective, uh, ice climbers can literally lose at any point in time, always. So yeah. never count yourself out, you know? Okay. They can also win from literally any point in time un until they have only Popo left. And even then, it's... Uh, that's a maybe. As soon as you see the side B start, if it's in the air, I would say, um, wait on the ground. I don't know. I guess maybe maybe that's bad advice. Maybe you should be trying to, like, uh, up air it. But he can, like, decide exactly when he starts falling faster by, like, tapping B in the air until he wants to fall down. Right. Um, that was, yeah, so that time you synced the two of them. Yeah. Okay, well, it, it worked out. Yeah, I don't know how. I think that he thought that it was going to be a synced squall, but it was actually solo. And he reads my ledge roll for fucking 76. Yep, that is Icy's advantage state. So, okay, um, this is going to be a super nitpick, but you did like three dashes back from the side B there. I think that after the second one, you were totally safe, and you could have like, on reaction, dashed back in and dash attacked. Yeah, no, I think you're correct. I, yeah. I don't, I don't quite know exactly how far they can go, I feel. Okay, down smash? Okay, no, I'll, I'll take it. I think that one benefit of down smash in that type of a situation is it'll probably just hit both of them the same way, but if they do happen to split you in down the middle, then you separated them, and that's way better. That's true. 
And also I can charge it more because I don't need to guess which side. Exactly, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I did that at least once on him. Yeah, so see, that's how laggy he was where you were able to roll past him um, and then still F-tilt. Yeah. And that was like a pretty delayed roll. <laughs> if you had not done the little shield flicker and then just rolled, you probably could have F-smashed both of them. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that live, yeah, and I was oh, like, oh, he doesn't know. It hits way behind. I know, yeah, that surprised me. I was expecting a jump, and then... Yeah, he's gonna jump. Okay, D go go for Nana there. Right there, uh, you, ha you had a Nana kill, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Mm, I don't know, she kind of, like, teleported up to Sopo. Maybe, maybe I could have gone further. No, up. no, like, right there when you did that double jump back towards him, you should have been totally jumping towards uh, her. Mm, yeah, probably. So this was a little bit scuffed that it worked, but you should have jumped towards her right there and done like back air, back air. Uh, sorry, where? After the throw. Okay. So, this is That's weird. So that works. Right there. Yeah. Uh, my god. Oh, oh, just like, yeah, instead of trying to land, just... Yeah, instead Nana. of trying to land, just kill Nana. Okay. Generally speaking, and here's also a totally good way to think about it. Um, if you get uh, vortexed by both climbers together, you're taking like 80 or something, right? Yeah. If you kind of YOLO after Nana and Dawson happens to punish you for it with like a single backer or something, you take like 10. Um, but the reward for actually landing it is you kill Nana and then that's like basically the stock, right? So the risk yeah. reward, as soon as they are separated at all, skews heavily in your favor and you should like be willing to invest a lot of potential hits into hitting Nana, because if you let them get back together, one, their neutral becomes way better, and two, if they do finally get that one neutral win on you, that's 80 damage. That makes sense. I think I'm, I like, think of advantage state and disadvantage as, like, very discrete things, so I'm not used to just, oh, I got hit, time to go kill this ice climber. Mm -hmm. it, it's just not, it's a foreign concept, but it definitely makes sense. Imagine Luma that doesn't respawn. Yeah. Smash 4 player. Um, Mjolnir is saying you can kill Nana really early with side B after an aerial. I feel like that's a little bit um, risky because if you miss, you're in a terrible spot. Uh, oh, like you mean like pit side B? Like, yeah, like or dark dark pit side. B. Yeah, dark pit side B. I mean, like, hey, if you're using regular pit and you're like nice and high in the air, you could probably get a kill with that. They buffed it from Smash Four, right? Uh, I think it's about the same as Smash Four in terms of. Oh, I think the aerial one is probably stronger. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, F throw and. I think you probably could have done some of the Nana there, but it looks like it didn't work out at all. Sorry, brother. I was trying to run, I was trying to run off near Nana there, and I accidentally grabbed ledge. So uh, okay. Got that. You can totally die to down throw up here, by the way, if your DI is trash, so just be careful. Yeah, yeah I know. I don't think I... I usually avoid that, but... Uh, uh, is that dead? Yeah, that's super dead. Sopo fair. Sopo yep. fair is a pretty strong move. It is. All right, well, that's the end of that VOD. Let's go to this one. God damn it! <laughs> Hate this ad. There's no reason to miss, honestly. But what about Nana doing RNG double jump? She no, might double even, jump. I mean, as long as she doesn't double jump or air dodge, I think, yeah, like the down throw, down air, nair side B off stage should just like kill. Loses quarters, loses quarters. Where's me? I think I'm here, right? Uh, is this winners finals? No, it was game two. Wait, where's game one? They played off stream. What? No, I didn't play off stream. Pretty sure that was just incorrect. Oh, maybe yeah. Because we we only ever went to PS2 on game one. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely game one. Oh yeah, I had the brilliant idea of not interacting with him. So, see how far I was to the side, and even though I got hit by that thing, which sometimes leads to like 80%, I took like nothing. So, I don't know. Mitigating when you take damage from Ices is pretty important. I think that that fair that I did above him was like a little bit too YOLO, um, considering the strategy that I'm trying to play. Um, but hey, it works. Yeah, I guess just getting hit with, from the side is better than getting hit in the middle and getting up to the Yeah. Okay, so as soon, did you hear the second forward tilt, how it hit them both separately? That made it like uh, super negative on hit. Oh. Wait, see, see oh, the, yeah. the first one had like one sound effect and the second one had two sound effects. Um, yeah. So 
that meant that I hit Popo and then Nana, and I was in the hit lag from Nana while Popo was already recovering. So as soon as you hear that, um, I should have just shielded and gave up on the interaction. He was not drifting nearly enough there, but that was still way too greedy of a dash attack. So let's see. The second dash attack was the greedy one. Yeah. I don't think I end up taking too much from this. Yeah, well, you know, only like 30 um, or something. Yeah, and really nice to have in this matchup. Grenade is, but he started like rolling through it sometimes, and the risk reward just doesn't seem as good as it did before. Uh, I think that I just didn't pay attention to what percent Popo was actually out there. That was good. I think I can kill Nana. Yeah, see, that's what I just did there. The you just yeah, F smash towards Popo and she just DI'd out. Wow. Yep, that's that is my personal favorite way to kill Nana. And see how she ran through me as well? Yeah. Boy, I'm really yeah. excited to have the whole stream see me die to Sopo like five times. <laughs> it's okay. I think I I think I raindrop him right now. Any second now. It'll happen. Popo is also extremely... Okay, yeah, so now the stream gets to see me die to Popo a billion times. But don't worry, here comes the raindrop. Right now, he's gonna, like, land there. I'm gonna full hop land beside him. I'm gonna I'm gonna F tilt, like, right now. Yep, yep, here it is. Boom. Big, big combob. Oh my god, wow. Sheik player. Who, who taught wow. this guy how to play Sheik? Crazy. Oh my god. I really thought he was gonna get out of that. Like, just based on the DI. But I, I mean... With what disadvantage? Like, as soon as you hit Sopo once, you should take him for a ride. Yeah. Neutral? I don't know. Like, his neutral is ass, but it's also, like, annoying because you have the mentality of, it's Popo. If I get hit, I'm a fucking shitter. Um, he has some weirdly, like, safe moves. It's not very good. Yeah. Like, he, it's not like he can't play neutral. I... Was he in, like, Special Fall or something there? That looked like the weirdest animation ever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, I, I must have grabbed Nana during the startup of their side B, and Popo just, like, freaked out. I was trying really hard to STI that. Oh my god, nice tech, idiot. So all of those fares were probably bad decisions, actually, because they were all getting decent hit lag. Hmm. Like, what can you do to really avoid that? Uh... Back off and don't push your luck. Mm, okay. Damn. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I probably would have done that dash tag too, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. Uh no. There was no excuses there. I think that I just believed in my heart that the grenade actually hit, even though I could clearly see that it didn't. Um By the way, fun fact, I do not think I get too stalked at all in either set. Good job. I wish I could say the same. Is that dead? God, I'm so sick. You are. Mjolnir says that Nana doesn't DI, she just dies because she takes slightly more knockback than Popo. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But do the sparks not account for that? Uh. Well, you know how it'll have no sparks if you die with no DI anyway? Oh, okay. So I think that that just means that that F-Smash barely killed. Oh, Blizzard totally has a wind box, um, and I did space that grenade properly, but the wind box pushed me off. Oh. If this was Smash 4, I was dead. Did wow. you see that, how I drifted yeah, a little bit yeah. to the right? Pushed you a little bit. Okay. What am I doing here? Getting hit for big damage. Actually, that wasn't that big damage. That was okay. That was a very bad landing, though. So, I don't know, the... How do you DI? Do you just DI up on side B to avoid big follow-ups? Um, I'm SDIing to the side for my life. Side, like, away from them? Yeah, away from them. That, I deserve to die there, but hey. Uh, also, I deserve to die for those forward tilts on shield. I'm pretty sure that up smash would be able to punish me. Are you okay, Rose? One sec. No worries. I will entertain your chat somehow.
hi chat i hope you guys are enjoying the analysis i don't know shit about any of these characters so that's why i'm hanging out um i was born in smash 4 so Ices and Mithra are like very foreign to me, and Sephiroth, and really all the Wave 2 DLC characters, I just have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah, BC's pretty sick. Um, I don't know how many of the viewers are like BC smashers versus just random people uh, that aren't in BC. Not to, I don't use random in a derogatory way, I just mean like non-BC players. Um, but if you are a BC player, you can come to the Cave series. It's every Friday. Hey, oh, you're back. Hey. Dude, are you even going to the cave series? No. <laughs> it's not this Friday. Fuck, man. <laughs> Alright, look. Also, uh, STI the shit out of uh, side B. Sometimes you fall out. Okay, and it's always STI away, right? Uh, yeah, I always STI away. Um, I actually usually do like away and down. Um, mm. But mostly away. As in, I don't know, away and down, quote unquote, doesn't actually really make sense if you're doing quarter circle DI anyway. Um, and if you're using Smashbox, you're usually just pianoing left, so just go right. away. Away. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Not like go away, but like SDI away. Yeah. Anyway, exactly. carry on. Yeah, I deserve to die to that packer, by the way. Um, but anyway, uh, what do we have next? We have me thinking that I can drop shield F tilt this, um, but in reality, I can't. I think that I could have done Pharaoh to shield, though. Oh, okay, so, you know how, this is actually just like a funny case of the way that you have to input the move has implications. Um, he has to be like tapping B while he's doing it if he wants to actually like use side B properly. Um, so, because I like weakly knocked him out of it, he was still like tapping B and holding backwards to try to retreat with it. That's cute. Yeah. Okay, I think that was a very safe way of going about that. That was kind of dicey, but hey, it worked out. Um, do I get the? I think I I think I kill Nana and then die to Popo anyway. That didn't deserve to hit, but you know what? It's okay. Icy's need it. Bad character. Our Icy's the only character that still has the weird Smash Four yep. Gunner thing. I'm pretty sure they are. That's so bizarre. Yep. I mean, it was a somewhat recent patch that actually changed that in the first place. Man, if I had slightly better spacing, he was dead there. And if I... what? Okay, what is the way that I'm supposed to deal with that as Sheik? Because I know that, like, Taylor, when he was playing... When, when he has Arsene, he always just drops off and uses a counter to hit that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You mean up B or side B? Up B, right? Up B, yeah. Side B, he usually only does from like a safer distance, I think. If you just like run off Nair, does that not hit them? Nana's like invincible the whole time, and also super strong for some reason. Yeah. I feel like it's hard oh, to Oh, I do get that kill, okay. Nice. Good job, me. Big, big fan. I suggest trying to SDI up two during the move. The hitbox is very thin, and you can sometimes get out if they mistime their B presses. Yeah. Basically, the more you SDI against, uh,. Squall, Hammer, Sister Twister, uh, the better off you'll be. I guess it's probably just a matter of looking like where I'm getting hit in the side B, and if I'm like at the top, maybe SDI up. Yeah, yeah, if you're at the top, go up. If you're at the bottom-ish, go down. Okay. Love this music. Mm. Took four downs for no reason there. I think this should be dead, but I mess up. Uh, oh, never mind. I still lose this match. I'm a little bit sad about that. Oh my god, yeah. No, I literally saved him, and then I actually pretty sure I just get, like, bodied by Sopo here. Oh. Like, unironically, costs me the match. It's looking good so far. No, it's not. not, not that Down throw, up air, up air. Okay, only one up air. Okay, maybe it is looking good so far. But I'm still pretty sure I actually just like get kinda pooped on. Oh, that's a good read by him. Yep. I mean, what else can Popo do besides make good reads? Yeah, true. 
I think I burned my double jump and I didn't see it when it actually happened. So now I took 87 damage for effectively no reason. Also, I suggested not punishing that side B, but she can pit are like the best dash attacks in the game for it. You mean they're just the best dash attacks in the game? But yeah. Well, uh, wow, is it actually... Is it Pikachu? No, it's Greninja. It's definitely Greninja. Love to see it. Uh, Mithra's probably up there as well. In fact, Mithra's also probably very, very good for the purpose of punishing Ices. Have we seen uh, Nick versus Ices? No, because Dawson after. went Falcon. Oh, what, the Invitational? Yeah, uh, the Invitational. Oh. Dawson went Falcon and won. Okay. I guess I to... just knows Mithra's bad for Ices, maybe? Dude, all of Nick's characters are bad for Ices. Yeah, that makes sense. Inkling, Mithra, Corrin. Uh, not Inkling, just the swords. Oh. Oh my god, I can't believe I just took oh 113 to a Sopo. <laughs> I'm being told I shouldn't edgeguard with Vanish. That's an edgeguard move for recoveries with good hitboxes. Yeah, I can agree with that. Ah, oh god, I just love Vanish so much. Okay, there we go. There's the extra credit. 1.2% baby. That was good. That was good. Pick. Oh, uh, I could have had that. How do you how so? Uh so when he uses up B, notice how Popo's just like hanging there for a while. I could have probably hit him with something. I think I shouldn't have done the like fair swipe in the first place. I should have just waited for the up B. Maybe. It's a very small window though. Like... Uh no, it's actually quite large. Like, from between when uh, Nana grabs ledge and when Popo grabs ledge, where he's just, like, super vulnerable, it's a pretty big window. Okay. Didn't know that. I guess Nana doesn't have a hitbox once Popo grabs ledge. Is that how it works? Yeah, exactly. She's just on ledge. I okay. got the stupid grenade. Okay, that was... Should have probably been back to ledge on the first one as well. Ah, uh, that was good by him also to use the side B to grab Nana and then I die for it. Okay, uh, let's see, what could I have done better there um, besides actually just double jump bouncing fish the Nana there? And then not, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I saw the blizzard and it was a decent blizzard and I tried to go into it anyway. That was a big mistake -o. Okay, what am I going to do to Nana here? So get Popo away, and then flub on the Nana, killing. Yeah, so that time, that time, yeah, you're right. Popo was really high, so Nana was going to jump. I guess he's he going to jump. Meet up with, with Popo, that's how it works. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so bad. I could have done so many different things there. Uh, now I can back air her, right? Yeah, good job. That should work. Got a little bit greedy, but hey, we take those. I think I do a needle up smash right about now. Nope, never mind. I take two up airs. No, oh, one up air. Okay. I lied. It was a different game on Smashville that I kill him with a needle up smash. Yeah, so that was also like a decent parry as well. So the side B became like a true punish. Oh, also, just remember that uh, Icy's side B is, like, quite negative on shield. The thing that makes it safe is the fact that they're always using it while they're moving far away from you. Yes. But if they stop right in front of you, you can yeah. do something. This hasn't... Oh, my God. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This hasn't happened in a set, but if Popo ever has to use up B when Nana is on ledge or left the ledge without touching the ground, you can just hit her after up B. Uh, Popo will die at any percent since he won't get pulled. Ever has to use up B when Nana is on ledge? Oh, Nana is holding ledge. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So, like, if Nana's vulnerable and Popo has to use up B, you can just hit Nana and then he doesn't get to actually use the real up B. That makes sense. Yeah. Smashville is Icy's best stage. Uh, I banned FD. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to stick with the FD ban.
But also, I'm a FD hating chic. That's the other thing. That was a good get up attack. Uh, I was I guess they don't de sync the blizzard. Yeah. It's just pretty free. Yeah. Oh my god, that could have been it. I definitely lose this game. I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, down tilt, uh, up air kill is definitely. Okay, after that jab is like super online. Oh my god, that should have been like anything that would have killed Nana. That, okay, that's, that's my B. That's big my B. I should have done like, oh my god, so many things there. Bad runoff vanish. Uh, I'm actually just messing up infinitely. Not poggers. Did, did uh, you stop crouching or did that hit low enough to hit your crouch? It hit low enough. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I really like having a platform. Going to FD scares me, but maybe I can just bouncing fish away and do whatever. Okay, that was a synced fair. And there we go. Oh my god. So that was a, sorry, that was a desynced F tilt, and then I couldn't even get two F tilts. Oh, yeah. maybe it was synced and. Getting, getting two at zero is pretty hard anyway, I think. It's true. I think I was supposed to be bouncing fish, but it ended up working out. Oh my god, I think I deserve to get hit by that Nana up smash. Yeah, uh, that was just a bad angle. I mean, it soft worked, but bad. Oh, that should have been fair. I don't know why that wasn't fair. It was like the Blizzard Freeze basically, it's sort of like the Rob 50-50 where it's just a mix up on when you mash, pretty much. I think so, yeah. Okay, that was good. That was, that was funny. E. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> We're chilling now. I know that he goes for that trump like all the time. Yeah. Also, jab, jab, down tilt will totally confirm into a kill here. And I messed it up. But also, I think that one should have just been single jab, down tilt. Okay, if he DIs in, he's dead. Actually, he starts a forward air here, and I kill him for it. I remember that. Yep. Honestly, I'm just... I don't know if I'm getting lucky or if I'm actually just, like, doing a really good job of, like, consistently just barely drifting around his corner catch options. Um, but that's, like, the third time that he's just, like, super barely whiffed. Yeah, I think you're just spacing well. Like, I I feel like when I'm in the corner against him, I always get clipped by stuff and I'm just ruined for it. But you you seem to know the hitboxes really well. Okay, that should be that. It was a little bit greedy, but honestly, down tilt on shield seems really hard to punish. Your down tilt? Or yeah, my down tilt. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, Wolf can up smash it, but uh. We can't all be Wolf. Dude, Wolf can fucking up smash literally everything on yeah. shield. It's so bullshit. Damn. Oh, that was bad. I should have gone for Nana. I think that, yeah, I get them both here. Oh, no. Okay, I only get one here. Uh, don't mess it up, Captain L. Don't get too greedy going for that raindrop that you know you really want. Another late fair and finesse jab. I like it. Mm -hmm. So I mashed roll because I thought that he was going to trump. So good job, Dawson, for not doing that thing. Oh, that should be dead. Yeah, that's dead. It looked like he pressed a button there, actually. On the platform? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Nah. That was that was like super true. Okay. 
You can make it true with only two hits of up air, and that was wow. three. Granted, you need to like change your fastball timing. Okay, I think that, that was that was actually a pretty good uh, up air to follow because I don't think that he had a fast enough hitbox below him. Well, uh, I guess he probably could have mashed down air, uh, which would have just hurt, but not been like a big follow up. Oh, oh, that's cool. I pulled him away, so I was able to punish it really easily. Even though, like, the grenade didn't actually kill him, or, like, explode him, oh. it dragged me out of needing to be in shield. Yeah. Charge needles, jump, vanish downwards, drop off ledge needle, just kidding, die. Is raindrop easy on ICs, or I'm just really good at it? Um, both. Uh, circle-shaped characters and floaties are really easy to do it on, so Popo is, like, one of the freest. Like, him and Kirby are pretty much the easiest characters to do it on, and Robin Pitt. Floaties. It's very easy on floaties. Sheik down tilt is the perfect move to be punished by Wolf up smash. Not minus 16 that relies on spacing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Wolf up smash is 13, by the way. For what you, Len, since I assume you don't know that. Yeah, I'm just surprised the Wolf up smash hits, like, Dude, it, it hits side. so far to the side and so low, and that's dead, I believe. Just kidding, that is big throwing time. I mean, I still win this game, but, like, that was a big throw, and I deserve to lose for it. I also totally could have punished that one with dash attack. Oh, that was a misinput. I would never do that roll. Yeah, so that time, I was like caught at the top of it, and I'm pretty sure I was mashing SDI up, which is also why I double jumped by accident, because I have tap jump on. Right. That, yeah, that I mean, it was like a good double jump regardless. That's dead, yeah. But it didn't have to be like that. I could have killed him much earlier. Yeah, well, you could have killed Na uh, Nana much earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you had a circle kill earlier. But I guess killing Nana. No, I'm I'm pretty sh yeah I'm pretty sure there was actually a situation where I could have had them both. Maybe. Um, like as in I could have made Popo unable to recover by virtue of not having Nana. Yeah. I think that um. As this set is going on, I'm definitely uh, camping less. Um, and then Yoshi's just reminded me that I should camp more. That was an awful dash attack, but hey, I didn't get punished technically. Okay, there's that. There's that. Kind of, kind of sussy. Sorry. I didn't realize if they actually shield grab jab. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if they're like synced up when they're doing it. Yeah. I think that they're like. Jab frame data is probably like near worst in the game, if not by far worst in the game, just because it's not supposed to function on its own. Yeah. But I sense. I could actually be wrong. I wouldn't say that I am a popo jab expert. I don't know why I thought that uh, Tomahawk F tilt was going to be a schmoove there, but I really should have just dash attacked. I'm not is dead. Like, is jumping from ledge against ice is generally the best option? Uh, I don't know. It feels scuffed because like back air and up air can hit it really well, but also they cover everything else really well. So yeah, I yeah. I don't know. I think that generally I try to like yeah, it's dead. Generally I try try to get a grenade out so that I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna. Oh my god, that was so stupid. I thought it'd be cute though. But yeah, if I can get to ledge with a grenade, I usually don't need to worry about it one way or the other, which is probably why it looks like I'm getting out of the corner for free. Because um, yeah. the risk that I'm taking is not getting off ledge, it's getting to ledge. Right. That was so greedy. So I'm pretty sure that exact moment, maybe not with the number of needles that I had, but I think that I should have been able to punish with short hop needles out of shield. Yeah, I literally only have two needles at most right now. Yeah. I do die here anyway to an F smash. You were, I'm guessing you were going for side B there when he forward smashed you yep. the first time. Or maybe vanish. Yeah, I died though. Yeah. Cool. But it's okay, I don't get too stalked. Five needles. Time to throw them away at the first opportunity I get. Um. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. 
It's okay, I got that 1.2 damage on Nana. Good timing, That's Dawson. Good <laughs> Up air, she just has no good throws in this matchup. Uh, that's not quite true. F throw is actually usually pretty good. Like, you could say he could parry like any throw. It's not like safe on shield, but it's not like super bad on shield. Okay. Oh yeah, I think that this is where I get. No, I, I think it, actually no, I lied. It was the grand final set on uh, Yoshi's where like the really weird thing happens. Uh, that wasn't a separation. Me and my parents. Oh wait. Okay, I lied. I did get two stalked. My bad. My bad. I'm free. Oh shit, this is game five. Let's go. Hey look, I gave him a grenade. Hey look, I gave me a grenade and then I tunnel vision on using it. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Didn't get him. <laughs> oh really shit! Start to this game. I just want to say. Yeah. <laughs> like He's using a lot of side B's. B's. A bunch of thrown grenades. But okay. Also, sorry. With that last side B, you see how hard I was SDIing to the side, and then he got nothing off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's. I need to like learn to SDI like that. Yeah. Too bad you can't. Box. Yeah. Cheat box, baby. I think that I could have done one more back air there and it would have hit Nana. And maybe I could have followed up with a bouncing fish or something. I don't know. Back air, back air, back air. One more. Ah, maybe. It was tough to say. I don't think that full hop near was actually the move there. There we go. Rare raw up smash. Is it really raw if you're punishing something though? Uh, true? Oh, is Len on the call? Yeah, Len's on the call. Hi, Rose. Hi. Can I borrow your phone? Uh, it's not in my. Oh, wait, it is in my pocket. Yeah, okay, sure, if you want to. Uh, sorry, let's go back. Alright. What happens here? I be annoying with needles. I whiff punish that. And then I do a falling nair and hit the startup of up B, and then I do nothing. And I deserve to suffer for that. Back air, and now I should bounce and fish her, yeah. Okay, he did get the trump. Oh, that's dead. Yep. Good job, four damage. Is four damage worth it for the needles? Probably not. Oh yeah, I died of that. Oh wow. Yeah, that was that, that was super good. That was super good. Yeah. I needed to just like roll away or take the blizzard. When could you have rolled away? You were getting there. Like, I'm pretty sure that was more than ten hits on shield. Oh right, there's yeah, okay. It looked like you're in shield. Although actually I don't think that the uh side B hits actually count, which means I could have just dropped shield and taken the side B hits. Um That was so bad. Is this Three Houses music? Yeah, it is. You haven't got to that level yet. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, back throw, and then that flinches Nana, and it doesn't matter, and I'm gonna take a billion and a half percent for that. Yikes. Yeah. Oh my god, that was 50. That was unironically 50. Yeah, uh, I don't think. What else could I have have had off of that? I think I probably needed to do like double jump back air there. Would back air have led into anything more though? Uh, getting Popo away would have hopefully led into me being able to do something to Nana. Right. Yeah, that's why. Like, oh, that was a misinput. But um, it's less important what you hit them with in terms of follow ups, and more important that you just hit them. As Dawson would say. 
How did I not get hit by that? So, uh, fun fact, I was, in my heart, I wish that I could have footstooled that out of shield, but footstool out of shield is literally just negative on, quote, hit, because you're only footstooling one of them. Oh, yeah. Yep, and the other one just shields. But if you put still Popo, man, I probably won't do anything crazy. I'm pretty sure as long as um, Popo is nearby, um, whatever you input with Popo, Nana will just like immediately oh. mash out. Okay. And by input with Popo, I mean I have no idea how that worked out. How on earth did that actually work out in my favor? You get squalled. Okay, so I got single squalled, I got Blizzard, and I was like DIing for my yeah. life, and I got a random mash out back air. That wow. was. <laughs> I see uh, Zenny in the chat. Like, the chat for this VOD says, yeah. wow, that was sick. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, that was not really on purpose, but hey, I appreciate it, sir. Like, obviously the raindrop was on purpose, but like, the situation that led to it being possible was just kind of lucky. Oh my god. How did I not actually fare her there? Not that I would have, like, for sure gotten a kill, but it would have been, it would have been big. Big if true. <sighs> God, that just whiffed. Oh, that's it! That's 100% it! That is the RNG jump that I was really mad about. Yep, okay. Just complete RNG jump. Is there no way to, like, cover that jump? I feel like... I mean, I, I if I just covered high, it obviously would have worked. Yeah, I guess. But then, but then what if he doesn't RNG jump, right? Yeah, exactly. Pretty sure, like, do 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 do. I labbed out what Nana does after you separate them, and I determined that as soon as she's off stage, it's literal RNG. I probably oh. deserve to die there. That was stupid. I should not have gone back in for Popo. I should have hit Nana. Oh my god, that's... Oh, that was such a throw. Okay, well, that was a throw by him. Okay, uh, anything? Just... I don't know why she wasn't shielding there, but I did not capitalize on it very well. Oh, uh, and that was a misinput. Yep. Love were to you, see it. Were you hoping to be at the ledge with that grenade, or just you didn't want a grenade at all? Um... Yeah, I, I meant to be off ledge. I just landed okay. first. Yeah. Oh well. Unfortunate. Uh, lots of little places I could have done a lot better. I'm confident next time I play against Dawson. Yeah, no, that looks good for sure. It's just like mm -hmm. a few a few spots where you could have killed Nana and didn't, and it I think turned everything around. Mhm. Mm uh, do we want to watch game one of me versus Taylor or? It's up to you. It's your stream. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel bad. Because, like, after game one, he was like, I, it's impossible to play this matchup on a time limit. And I'm like, you don't have to treat it like a time limit, bro. If it, if we have to leave, then we can just play on the ferry or something. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I fully understand. It's annoying when it's like, okay, if I want to play this matchup properly, I'm like sacrificing the integrity of the tournament. Um, yeah. I just have no morals or something, so. So wait, he only played Joker game one, is that what happened? Correct, and then he went Lucas and then he went Bayo. And it's hard to even call it a Lucas game because uh, he lost his first stock and then SD'd twice. Oh. I, it wasn't like I bodied him or anything. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think that I just... Oh, yeah, I remember what I do. I uh, do a stupid vanish here. Or... Okay, never mind. I think... I get him off stage on the left. He recovers low. And then I... Oh, yeah. There. That's it. Oh, that was so good. That was cute. With the perfect percent. Yeah, the vanish off stage is very good against Lucas. That two frames. Wait, what? Oh, like when you said he SD twice, I mean he actually. No, I mean he just was like, and and notice how um it's like 
after I retreat to ledge on his respawn well, invincibility that he's like, man, fuck this, which is reasonable. I guess, yeah. I, th I thought you meant like he accidentally messed up. No, I mean he SD'd twice. Damn. Uh, anyway, let's not watch the last one. Okay. I think this looks close, actually, but yeah, we don't have to. I think it ended up being a two-stock, but again, it's... I don't even think that, like, I would two-stock his Bayo usually. It's just that he was not playing defensive, and I was still perfectly happy to play defensive. That, that kills. Yep. Okay. Um, I definitely don't have time to review this whole VOD right now, anyway. Okay. But, um... That was optimal, I would say. Oh, well, then standing there and doing nothing was not optimal, but. Oh, that was good. Rare footage of me going for a. Van or a needles off stage, and it didn't pay off at all. Back throw? Yep. Back air? Yep. Okay. Fake. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, what? Tomahawk F tilt. I don't remember that being a thing that I thought of. Damn, maybe I really was playing Crackdo to my mind. Oh, and now I, now I die. Oh my god, that should not have been that, and yet, hear me out, it's, okay, that was, oh god, I'm, yikes, okay, run up, nice, nice, okay, kinda sick, not gonna lie, yo, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think that holding shield is super good for Ices, because if someone ever hits one of the shields, you'd get a decent golf it. Right. Yo, we're comboing. Okay, I waited for Nana to... Wait, she did already use her jump there, right? Like, I actually was smart, it wasn't just lucky. Yeah, she jumped. And now I die. Pog. That could have been di better, right? Yep, absolutely, I was holding in. Because I thought that he would like try to back air me, which yeah. to be fair I would have died to like super hard. Dash attack, back air, crouch, be lame. Oh, I think he's dead here. Oh. Well, we gotta remember, ouch, ouch didn't find his way to this event. I'm sure he would have been a monster here as well. With his, with his yeah, just the one. That was kind of a YOLO bouncing fish, but I guess it worked out. I think it was good. There wasn't much risk, really. Like, yeah, but I mean, the risk was giving up the stage position on Sapo. I guess. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, another up air. Oh, just kidding, back air. Uh, that works, I guess. Okay, that was good. Back air. Okay. Uh, up air. Okay, that was a super good full hop, uh, Blizzard by Dawson. I think I, I definitely had frames to punish that. So I, yeah, that's the one thing that makes like, um, oh, I lose this. I'm so fucking bad at this video game. I get up right here into F Smash. Right here. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, in my heart, I should have won that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, I don't know, it was kind of just an okay, unlucky guess, yeah, there, but I mean, you could have... No, it wasn't. I, I, I should have just rolled. Nothing he does yeah. is going to kill me off a roll. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you, you probably wouldn't have died even if you, like, ran and up smashed the roll. Mm-hmm. You were at, like, what, 75? Uh, I think it was at 85. Okay. Yeah, probably. So. Also, Pobo F smash is just dummy strong. Yeah. I can't make the bad in the background there. We're just gonna go to the game here. Oh, that's not the game. That's Mod the check. Alright. Lots of SDI, and I didn't get the tech. That was a super greedy down air, but I guess it works out. 
it's been working a lot this set. I feel like he's yeah. never expecting it. I think that's dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he dies right here. Yeah, wow. get destroyed, man. Get destroyed, man. Oh, and they're separated, and it, that's it. What a damn. So what was that exactly? Back air, back air. Bouncing fish, the Nana. Oh, I was definitely like greeting for the bouncing fish ricochet on Popo. Um, for the main reason of then I could have ricocheted again to hit Nana and it would have looked so cool. It's stronger on the ricochet. That was a good mash. I wasn't sure if it was safe on shield, so I decided to just jab. Uh, that was obviously extremely fake and I got the kill there. Nice. I think I missed this game. Wow. Looks like a... Also, oh my god, each one of those fares, I happened to hit them both at the exact same time. So, like, I wasn't actually losing any frames. The first one wasn't, but like, yeah. And then, there we go. He had to, like, trade the up air with me, otherwise he would have just died. Okay, there's that. See, Nana super invincible there. Because I, I definitely like exploded right where she was. Uh, yeah, wow. And now I'm getting two frames by Nana. Wow, okay. <laughs> yep. That's pretty hard. Did you jump there or did you just drop shield? Uh, I think I might have poked, but let's let's look at the tapes. Uh, I think that was spot dodge cooldown. But also, even if it wasn't cooldown, it was definitely poking. We're not experiencing this matchup, but these two have it down to a oh, switch. I'm okay. Like the play oh, level cool. is so cool. He almost, almost accidentally died there, like, say 30%. Trying to skip back on. I don't think Biggie's out of this right now. F tilt. Oh, okay. Just, get a couple combos and be back in this. Yeah, I know Captain L's all over him right now. Taking away a storm here. That was so good. There's the down here. That wasn't, but. Biggie yeah. $5 bill. I think that I should have done back throw there. I mean, I guess it looks like it's working out. Yeah, we got them separated. Yeah, it's dead. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure he still gets a kill because that move is insanely strong. Alright, side beaming. At this point, I feel like he's dying yeah, to avoid option. the up airs <laughs> quite so well, like, like more than most people so do. In, so No, he's not. I think he's just dying in to avoid getting off stage. Okay. Like, maybe I'm not giving him enough credit, but like, there was definitely at least one situation where he was like, straight under the platform and he still di'd in, and that was the only way I was able to get it. What a unnecessarily sweaty game this is. <laughs> oh, you got the jump? Yep, and I didn't do anything with it. Okay, that was cute. I could die to a lot of shit here. This time... Oh, okay, okay, good job. Nice roll. Idiot. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. I'm scared. I don't actually know the result of this game. Yeah. Pretty sure the result is like a uh, down tilt up air. Okay. Or no, it's just gonna be. God damn. Oh. Dash attack. Oh my god. Alright, one more needle. One more needle. One more needle. Nope. Holy. Captain Elsa, go get your with the needles. Is that supposed yes. to be dash attack? Nope. Like that one. That's oh, supposed to be dash attack. Uh, okay, I know that dash attack kills right now. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I do a really bad one on his shield and regret it. <laughs> yep. Oh, it just needs one read though. He just needs one read. Oh my god. Down till. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fair right here. It's literally fair right here. Oh. <laughs> Memes. I'm so oh good. God. I'm so good at this game. You you kept your composure in the end. Did I really? I killed him with fair at like 200. You didn't get blown up out of nowhere. Even if it was a little dicey. Uh. 
That was the literal most aggressive opening I've ever had in a game. <laughs> Hop down, instant dash attack. Yeah, wow. I think this game goes like extremely well in my favor for no reason. Let's find out why. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, how did, oh, I guess that'd be There we go. Okay. That's how it happens. Okay, so what was this sequence? I stage spiked her, then I blew up Popo somehow, and that wasn't actually relevant at all because I just got a fucking lucky bouncing fish. <laughs> Alright, good F smash. Oh, yeah, commentator, absolutely 100% correct, said some Icy's player is gonna clip that, put it on Twitter, and be like, see, Icy's are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. No, oh, bye bye. See, Icy's are terrible. Yep, Icy's <laughs> terrible, guys. Okay, yeah, when he said no reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much not wrong. <laughs> there we go. Great character. Yeah, boy. I should threaten with Bear by doing a full hop when he's recovering, react and punish the side B. And if he doesn't, then you should aim to hit his low recovery for the kill. Pull up when he's recovering, react and punish his side B, and if he doesn't, then you should aim to hit the low recovery. Okay. Um, so, like, be off stage and hit the low recovery after? I guess that makes sense. I, dude, how the hell did, like, neither of us hit each other there? I was dash attacking and he was side being. That's a Smash 4 interaction if I ever saw one. Also, did you see did you see the subtle confidence running into shield? That's only something that confident players do, right? Right? Yeah, I, I guess so. I think he just bounced over my dash attack. No. But I die for that. It's a pretty good move. Yeah. All right, let's see. Up air, forward air. Oh, just kidding. I think that okay. I should do more like double jump forward airs on Nana when she's above the platform like that because I can like do the landing fair on the top platform and then do like more stuff. Cause Sopo is a hard time getting up there. I think. Yeah. Or not like hard time getting up there, but like easier than just waiting for me to come down. Or sorry, harder than. I think this is where the game ends. Yeah, he just kills himself here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, given that we're potentially going to miss a fairy, I think there was no realistic yeah. way he was bringing that back. I lost my five I bill. Bill. Yeah. Now me, I would have kept tryharding for the end, for the whole thing. Don't go too far off stage in case you decide to be super high, but be around where a ledge jump puts you. Gotcha. We love the desynced hit lag. We love the desynced yeah. rapid jabs. Actually, wait, no, I think we we do love them. We call something, we'll get the exact opposite. Yeah. I'm just here to enjoy the show. I guess if you want to hit Nana, then yeah. These guys are both such good players. It's fun to see them play always. I just want to see everyone have a good time, make it home safe, drink lots of water. Oh my god, that was so good. Yeah. He pulled her from the depths of the abyss. Dead Nana right there. And she didn't even get trumped. Is Nana just immune to trumps in general? I. Uh, great question. I don't think so. Wait, wait, she, it didn't look like she buffered anything. But no, it looked like she was buffering jump. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw that like a little bit late, and I'm like, oh shit, no. <laughs> oh hell no. Nah. You can mash with two characters at once. I love it. This guy's got, got another controller on. Yeah. Speed. So that is the correct way for me to punish that. If I can get the vanish on stage, it'll always just pop her and I'll be completely safe. Really clean, really clean. These guys are just kind of... Now, who do you think wins? Somebody using two controllers, each with one hand, and they're just very good at that? Or you think somebody using one character okay. beats them? F-Smash. Oh yeah, Nana did the Randy jump. You think the one character wins? 
Yeah, there we go. Love to see the Nana RNG ledge options. But hey, if I can ledge trap a person, I can ledge trap Nana, right? Hopefully. Can I get an amen? Nana never does, like, jump off ledge aerials, right? It's just the basic option. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she just does either attack, roll, neutral get up, or... I think that she can actually just drop off ledge and jump. I don't remember for sure, though. She's not immune to ledge trumps, and it's often the reason why you have to make her ledge regrab with up B, which is what I was talking about earlier. Oh, got it. That was a neato there. Okay, that was... I should have acknowledged that and not gone for the Nana Punish. Yeah. You weren't at F smash kill base then yet. But... No, but I lost all stage control and lost the advantage state anyway. Uh, I think that I thought that that uh, back air dash attack would be true on just Nana. Okay, up air, up air again, up air again. Didn't work. Uh, needle charge, double jump bouncing fish. Yeah, okay, that's the first time I've been like really just bodied by the out of the corner option. Okay, and what are we doing here? Oh, wow. I, okay. That was, that was weird, but it worked out. The, the bouncing fish? Uh, well, the fact that, like, I feel like you could have just focused on Nana there instead of fucking around with Popo for a bit, but then you still had the bouncing fish, so... Uh, okay, like, let me see what you mean. Back air there. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, right, okay. I thought that... Okay, so, hear me out. My brain was so big that I was like, the super obvious thing to do is go kill Nana. There's no way he'll expect me to just run at him and dash attack. I guess, yeah. But... I can kind of agree with you. I shouldn't have done the funny thing. I should have done the smart thing. Also forces the BC classic to not be playing. You know, the BC players love to just go running back, running back, running back, exactly. Oh man. Okay, this is the set or this is the game that I was thinking of when I mentioned. Oh yeah, I totally get a needle up smash kill on Smashville. I think it's actually right now. Yeah. Man, stacking needles on shield, it's got to be one of the most satisfying sounds in this game. Ah, okay, drop shield, F tilt, F tilt, F tilt, fair, fair. Ah, good jump, okay. So yeah, that was just a little like tap on shield with the God. That was that was cute. Sorry, I pop off over my own play because I am a gym. No, it was the wave bounce needle off the platform. Okay, he doesn't have his double jump here. I should have known that he would go for the falling side B. Oh, also, uh, Sheik up air has like a ridiculous uh, hits hit lag multiplier on the last hit. Yeah, there we go. He got and the parry. Is. Is that game? Damn. And it is. I thought for a second we weren't going to see the kill screen there. But that, it's... He got the parry with one ice cream. But I like getting tech chased. It's more fun. Got some handsome fellows in the back. We got Odie. You can reflect ICs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know that you can reflect the ice blocks. We're going back to the game here. Now we got the Twitch chat. Sheik just trashes Icy's Big D. <laughs> there we go! Thanks, iHoop SSB. Big D is an absolute god for getting this far. Yeah. So I will say again that, um... Okay, the, honestly, the Icy's Sheik matchup between me and Dawson is actually such a meme. Because he said that, like, he he trashed Void on, like, Wi-Fi or something. And uh, Void was like, man, that matchup is, like, garbage. Um, and then the first time that I played him, I was, like, still pretty new with Smashbox and also Sheik. And I was kind of getting trashed. And he's like, ah, oh, don't worry. It's probably Ice Climber's easiest matchup. Or maybe Sheik's worst matchup. He said one of the two. And I was like, no, 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 trust me, it's even. And I said that mostly out of blind optimism. But now... 
I do actually believe it's totally Sheik favor. Um, okay. But we also agreed last time we had like a offline grind session that basically what it boils down to is if both players are sloppy, ice climbers just win like super free because sloppy Sheik. That is a lot of ice matchups, and that's also what Alfkin was saying on Twitter. He was like, Sheik just completely exacerbates that. Yeah. Is, yeah. Where it's just like. Every Sheik matchup is kind of an execution test, and if you play bad, you get shit on. And every Icy's matchup is like, if both players play bad, the Icy's do well. Um, so like, when those two collide, it's like, this matchup could look like it's anywhere from like plus two Icy's to plus two Sheik. Um, and it is mostly dependent on like how precise uh, the Sheik player is. I'm not trying to like make make it into like a one player sounding thing where I'm like I'm the only one who matters. It doesn't matter how good my opponent is. If I play good, I can win. But like it really does come down to like if you're playing super disciplined and like super precise, you can kind of invalidate ICs, But as soon as you slip up, you take like 80 damage off a neutral interaction. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, he's probably the only ICs you'll ever fight. But know that all of your throws can be punished with at least jump side be out of shield. He's either getting greedy with the punish or missing. Uh, I don't actually know if he uses jump side B out of shield with Sopo, but that's actually good to know. Um, at the end of the day, I don't try to grab Nana, but sometimes it just happens, and I don't know. I guess I've died for it twice, so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what else I was going to say is, even though Dawson is probably the only ICs that I'll ever have to fight, I'll have to fight him a lot, so it's still worth knowing. Plus, I would love if, like... Every one day I travel and play another ICs to be able to be like, hey, guess what? I'm like the one person in the world who has like an absurd amount of matchup experience. Okay, that was good. That was also very good, and that was bad, but just kidding, it worked out. Yeah, okay, it worked out really well. Wow, you wouldn't believe by looking at it, but yes, I lose this game. That Okay, that was just a complete mess up on my part. I could have had that stock right there. If I did the drift properly, I could have landed on the other side of him and then F tilted him towards the platform and gotten a raindrop like super free. Yeah. 87? I feel like it's even at close percent for it though. I don't know. Uh, I have rage. I guess. Yeah, he's dead anyway. Oh shit, I'm bad! Oh shit, I'm bad! Kinda looking like the battle pass right now. That's not funny. That was not meant to be that. That was meant to be the A button, which would have been a down tilt. Oh my god. Okay, actually, no, I'm living. Okay, so someone said terrible DI, but that was actually perfect DI. Wow. I, I'm telling you, man, if you, you if you hold down there, you live a little bit longer right at ledge because it's actually, like, legitimately horizontal, and holding down gives you uh, LSI as well. Uh, what about holding up and in? Isn't, wouldn't that up that? gives no, you that, more knockbar. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Right, right. No, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure that was actual perfect DI. Okay. I should come to France. If the matchup is slightly Icy's favored, most of Sheik's kit doesn't work in this matchup outside of Grenade and Edge Guards. Icy's just aren't a good character, so they can't win consistently. Yeah, yeah, So uh, the way that I see it is, like, you can't play this matchup as Sheik like any other Sheik matchup. Obviously, that's like every single character against Ice Climbers. If you play them like they're a normal matchup, you're just going to get completely destroyed because you think your things are safe on hit, but they're not safe on hit, blah, blah, blah. But like, I think that Sheik absolutely has the tools to just like completely dominate them on separation and has enough like neutral mix ups to actually get those separations in the first place. And as you were saying earlier, like Sheik dash attack is probably literally the best move in the game for punishing a uh, side B. Um, on shield at least. So I do think that Sheik has it. You just need to like really make sure that you don't throw a neutral interaction and take 80 damage or die. Okay, please don't throw this man. <laughs> Badge. Oh my god. I mean like whatever I got that, but still that is big sad. Yeah, I feel like he just goes for YOLO fares and forward smashes when he's Sopo. And the, the thing is, if I'm um, against Sopo and I'm not at literal kill percent, I think it's like super easy. But as soon as he, I'm at like already 110 or more, it's just like, wait, this is like hard. 
Because the thing that Nana helps the most with is just like making you convert for way more. Um, but like if all you're looking for is a stray fair or bear or something, Popo does moderately fine. I mean, obviously he would still prefer to have her, but uh... Okay, that was a good dash attack. That was also a good dash attack. A little bit greedy, um, but hey, I made the right call by not trying to immediately punish the side B because I was definitely going to be too slow and he could have done a blizzard, but instead he held shield, so it worked out for him, I suppose. I think that that should have actually been a dash attack, but it worked out. No, uh, Nana like slides towards Popo if they're close enough. Oh right. See. Okay. I mean, it kind of hurt you earlier. Also, I was just mashing the A button right there. Okay. Okay. F smash Nana. Oh my God! Wait, no, I'm bad. Oh my God! I'm so bad. Why didn't I just kill Nana? I would have won this set. Uh, sorry? And then we all would have slept the night in Victoria. <laughs> okay, do I get the Nana conversion anyway? No, I do not get the Nana conversion at all. God damn it. Tomahawk jab. I'm so cool. That's dead. Okay. Okay, you're good. We saw this happen last game, where Big V won. Round two against six. <laughs> Round two, Popo at kill percent, baby. Ooh, nice. Uh, I think I back air him here. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and there we go. Imagine punishing up B from below ledge. There's so many opportunities for Big V to make a mistake off stage, and he's just never making it. It's crazy. Like Down tilt. That, that worked. He was DIing in. That wasn't actually the yeah, tipper. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd die without getting a hit on him. Yep. There we go. Uh, sorry, I want to read the chat. Ices aren't a good character, but having an offed player means your character can be really good. Don't know why I'm nitpicking. Having an offed player? I don't know where that term is. That must be some hidden new lingo. Uh, often, maybe just off. Person you fight often? Often? I don't know. Uh, the letters OFT are all to the side of PGR, so I'm going to go with that was a typo of PGR. Oh, you're so I'll smart. Yep. Thank you. No! Oh, I'm so bad! Oh, uh, why am I... See, I don't know. I'm like almost winning this despite not playing precise at all. Maybe, maybe I was actually full of shit the whole time. Why are you guys talking about yam fries right now? I respect it, but at the same time. Okay, side B. By the way, I... By the way, if it makes you feel worse... Actually, I won't spoil it, but it's a very exciting ending. Okay, I think I walked in right as the set ended, so... Oh no, does Captain L lose to Sopo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Round three. <laughs> Round three, baby! There it is! No. <laughs> Woo! I feel like all his kills that game, or at least the last two, were just hitting you in the corner wow. with forward errors. You'd be surprised at how many characters in this game can get away with their basic game plan against Ices due to the matchup being awful. Yeah, but I don't count zoners as characters. They're just kind of like NPCs. So, um, yeah. All right, uh, I actually need to go, oddly enough. I have plans tonight after this, but um, thank you for okay. watching, everyone. This was a little little bit of a different thing. Uh, thanks for being on, Len, as well. Um, no problem. And thanks, thanks yeah, and thanks, Mjolnir, for all of your Icy's expertise. You are pretty much the entire chat, but that is A-OK, -okay because you probably know the character more than I do. Also, that's literally the last Icy set that was on stream anyway. Like, I don't think there's any other ones other than maybe, like, a really early round that Dawson had. Yeah, that sounds correct. Yep. Yeah, so that is the end of our content anyway. Uh, it was partially because I had to go and partially because that was literally the end of the tournament. Thank you so much. Thank you. All huh. right, well, have a good night. Yep, you as well. Oh, good, Samuel yeah. was here the whole time. All right, uh, I'll post the VOD in our Discord server. Just kidding, maybe I will. Okay, oh, bye.